Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Nordic Trends. Alan is from Hamza, Sweden. How are you all? Today there are there is something different. We are to, we are we are just uh, making something in the outer box because uh, I think that uh, um, some people are very uh, anxious and worried about their job sector and uh, they want to know about how difficult it is to get a job in Sweden and uh, what's the environment of working here in Sweden. So we invited someone very special and uh, we feel that uh, we will get uh, very, very interesting uh, ideas and uh, very, very interesting story, how uh, he gets the job and uh, how he perform in, uh, in, in Swedish culture. And uh, he's none other than uh, uh, extraordinary talented and uh, amazing person, my friend, uh, Aditya. Uh, he's from India and uh, we are living here in Hamstad. Uh, so uh, let's uh, invite Aditya. Hello, Aditya. Hey, Al. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Thanks. <laughs> so it's a long time that we didn't meet because of the Yeah, corona. because of the corona. Yeah. It's kind of troubling everyone, I guess. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, what do you think in, uh, in in Sweden, the Corona situation and everything? In the world? Uh, it, nice. I think Sweden took a bold move uh, by not going into a lockdown. And uh, that's kind of interesting for the whole world to see, you know, no one dared to do this kind of a step. And it is kind of a brave from Sweden to do that. And I think uh, it is going well because our economy hasn't been affected much like the other countries. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great move by the prime minister, Stefan. Yeah. Do you think that this kind of uh, this kind of uh, decision that take uh, it will uh, it will it will uh, make an impact in all over the world or only in Europe or Sweden? What do you think? Uh, I think the whole world is kind of affected right now. I mean, uh, if you take US or Australia, uh, there have been a lot of changes all over the world, uh, both mm -hmm. economically and also in, you know, medical situations, if you consider oh, yeah, them. Yeah. And also the job prospects are also going lower by the day. And uh, mm -hmm. if you have seen the news, I think last week, Australia had a record number of uh, unemployed individuals in their country. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is quite alarming, if you ask me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's that's uh, that's. I agree with you. But uh, in in Sweden, uh, yeah. how they how what what's the what's the reason to take this kind of uh, decision not to lock down in in, in Sweden? Or well, what do you think? Uh, I think they had their own uh, theories behind it, but I think the major one would be to uh, not disrupt the economy, first of all. And then uh, most of the Swedish communities are micro communities. Like um, mm -hmm. if you pick a family, it would be at max two to four people. And uh, uh, most of their grandparents stay away from their children. And that's mm -hmm. kind of uh, what I think uh, drove them to this decision. So mm -hmm. they could just restrict themselves. And uh, most of the uh, Swedish uh, individuals also follow their uh, you know government quite uh, you know loyally so yeah that's yeah. Uh, kind of uh, the motivation for the government i think and uh, of course if you have seen the live uh, polls that they have conducted on this decision uh, most of them are in sync with the government and they even uh, you know support the government for doing this thing and they always believe that the government does the right thing for them so i think that's the main issue Okay, I, I feel that uh, uh, the reason behind this, of course, the economy, of course, but uh, also the every the, like the daily lifestyle here in Sweden. You say that uh, everyone is individual here, and uh, uh, it's possible not to be locked down or then uh, 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 just uh, go to the road or go to uh, do do everything uh, what you want, but keeping the distance from one another. Yes. Like yes. each other. Social oh, wow. distancing is uh, kind of uh, followed very uh, strictly here, even by oh. every individual. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. right so uh, today we are doing this live session because of our uh, students in Asia, basically in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will conduct, we will conduct this live session in English because uh, Aditya is uh, uh, Indian and uh, he's living here uh, in Sweden, I, I, I think one year now. Yes. Kind of yes yes so uh, 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 the audience wants to know about your 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 background and everything about you yeah sure Please. sure uh, so as you know already my name is Aditya and uh, I'm from India and uh, in 2009 I have uh, done my master I have started my masters in Sweden 
uh, in the field of digital signal processing. And uh, I finished it in the year of 2012 and then tried finding jobs uh, everywhere, kind of. Uh, and I couldn't stay in Sweden because of my visa status at that time. So I had a couple of months of time to find a job. And most of my uh, job interviews were in process at that time. And uh, yeah, so basically I had to move to Netherlands at that time. I found a research job in Netherlands. So I moved mm -hmm. to Netherlands and stayed there for a couple, uh, one year. Mm -hmm. uh, and then due to some personal emergencies, I had to move to India. And uh, that's the reason I left Europe, first of all. And uh, after that, uh, I took some uh, months staying at home, uh, solving my issues. And then I came back uh, to the mm -hmm. you know technical uh, field again. I supported a few uh, startups in India at that time. I then started working for a startup in Mumbai for, I think, uh, two and a half to three years. And after that, I uh, moved to Bangalore, stayed in Bangalore for a couple of years. And then after that, I moved to Malaysia, <laughs> worked for Motorola in Malaysia yeah. for a uh, couple of years. Yeah. And after that, I was invited to Sweden back again to you know this job that I'm doing right now as an mm -hmm. audio engineer in Fonac. So okay. that was my journey. Yeah, and you live here uh, with your family, right? Yes, I live here with my wife. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting you guys every now and then. Yeah, every every weekend and uh, going yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just uh, screaming somewhere in Sweden. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we have we had a couple of a uh, couple of uh, uh, memories actually, just yeah. uh, to go uh, different places in Sweden. Yeah. So uh, uh, very interesting that uh, you 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 were here in the Sweden for your master's program. Uh, in which subject you you were here for master's program? Uh, it was in electrical engineering, and my specialization was in digital signal processing. Okay, okay. So signal processing engineering in uh, in electrical engineering you did, and uh, you have done uh, it in in Blekinge University. Yes, that's right. Yeah, technical university, and then you went uh, went to Netherlands for a research kind of job, and then you went back to India, and then after so many years, you 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 again catch up, and then you come back again in Sweden with a uh, audio audio specialist engineer here, uh, yeah, uh, in Phonic. Yeah. So I, I I want to just uh, just to to know and to learn and to 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 uh, make everywhere everyone aware that uh, uh, what kind of uh, what kind of factors are 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 there to come back in Sweden with with a professional job here? What kind of factors mm -hmm. uh, uh, like you faced or you 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 maybe you uh, considered during taking this decision? What kind of yeah. factors? Sure. Uh, first of all, in order to uh, find a job in Europe. As such, uh, I think the you need to consider a few things. Uh, the first and foremost advantage is like if you have a degree from Europe, I think that would definitely bring you in front of the crowd. And mm -hmm. uh, other than that, I think there will be many factors depending on which field you are from and the kind of expertise you have in the uh, field. Mm -hmm. And you are definitely going to get a few uh, interview calls for sure if you apply for the right ones and uh, how you perform on them depends on your uh, you know skill set again but mm -hmm. i think the first and foremost thing uh, to bring you in front of the crowd would be to have a degree from europe in order to be considered for a european degree mm -hmm. and uh, other than that i think uh, for me in my case uh, i have uh, traveled a lot <laughs> And I've worked in many different fields. Like I have worked in uh, startup environments. I have worked for uh, specific, uh, you know, expertise. It's like I have worked for the railway communications and I have these, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, they have these quality checks and also the uh, specific kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, technical uh, skill set that you need. And uh, I think I was considered uh, because of those, uh, you know, technical skills that I had. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that's the reason I got the opportunity for this, uh, you know, interview. Okay, okay. So uh, the, the factors I should consider that uh, first factor is uh, to have a European degrees. Yep. I mean, yeah, I and... wouldn't say that you don't have chances if you have other degrees. Uh, it yeah. isn't like that. Uh, of course, I have many friends who had, uh, you know, Indian degrees as well, who, you know, uh, got an interview and then uh, got through to jobs in Europe. But 
I would say if you have an European degree, I think that would definitely bring you into the, you know, in front of the many candidates that are mm. appearing for it. Yeah, I agree with you because uh, here in Sweden, I, I, I feel that uh, the, uh, for one vacancy, there are mm -hmm. so many competitors and most of them are European. Yes, First of yes. all, the Swedish and then European and then US or Australian. Yeah. And then yeah. there are some someone who is like very special. Then they are yeah. coming from forest. Because and also if that, you... Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, and also like there is these uh, European uh, rules. Like uh, if some company is trying to consider you for a job, I think uh, they need to consider uh, many of their European counterparts. And only if they don't find any candidate, you know, suitable ca candidate from Europe, then only are they allowed to go out of their uh, European Union to find new candidates. And I think in such situations, uh, in order to be in front of uh, the crowd, I think you need to have a degree. Uh, if it's from Europe, it's going to be uh, fetching you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I feel the same because uh, uh, here in European Union, there should have uh, like uh, ten days uh, at least advertisement in uh, in a European advertisement site or uh, yes. in their like local that. home country yeah. first, and then yeah. in the European Union, yeah. and then yeah. international yeah. ads. International ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, very important to have uh, some kind of uh, some kind of degree here or. If you are living here in somewhere in European countries, then it's uh, one kind of factor, I should say. Yeah. And then uh, I feel that, uh, yeah, that uh, you say that uh, the mentality that you come back again. I feel mm -hmm. that uh, uh, this is very important that you, you you went back to India and then you had a degree like five years back and then you're doing job there. And then you feel, no, I will go back to Sweden again. Yeah. That's, that, that's a very, very tough decision to make because uh, your family is there and then you will come here again with the job and everything. I think it's a very tough decision, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. But I think uh, like many Indians, I was, you know, motivated to go to Europe for my master's. And then yeah. when I did yeah. my master's, yeah. I think uh, I tried to, uh, you know, expose myself to all kinds of work environments. And I wanted to see how they feel like, you know, instead of just going back to Europe, I wanted to see how it feels like in India, first of all. And then, you know, I wanted to explore the world, uh, to be precise. So yeah. that's, I think one of the reasons I had chosen to come back to Sweden because I have seen this environment firsthand and I know how it feels like working in a different environment or your home environment. And mm -hmm. that is quite some difference if you ask me. So mm -hmm. I think uh, that was one of my motivations to, you know, uh, mm -hmm. drive me back to Sweden. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel the same. So uh, today the, our topic is, discussion topic is about, uh, about work in Sweden, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we will discuss uh, some precise uh, topics question. First sure. question is that, how do you feel work in Sweden? Uh, yeah, it's exciting, I guess. <laughs> uh, because uh, I kind of worked in different uh, environments and also I had these international uh, uh, teams that I have worked with. So uh, I know how uh, difficult it can be to, you know, join a team and then try to uh, cope up with the team and try to, you know, understand the team and mm -hmm. uh, try to give your best for the team. And that I think is quite quick here because uh, Swedish, uh, you know, nationals are quite uh, friendly. If you uh, are the right for the team, they consider you as an equal and yep. they do have a quite flat hierarchy. So even the mm -hmm. managers and your tech leads are like your close, uh, you know, colleagues that sit with you and do them, uh, do the work with you. So, uh, I think that will be the main difference if you uh, ask me, like if you consider the different uh, work environments, I think Swedish uh, work environment is quite flat and uh, the hierarchy itself is quite flat. And most of the individuals that you have in your company uh, will know you for sure. And then you do have constant uh, inter interactions with them. And of course, mm -hmm. we also have this famous Fika. So mm -hmm. and that's the right time to, uh, you know, network uh, with the whole uh, team and also the other teams in your company mm -hmm. uh, so, people yeah. wants to know about fika what is fika actually <laughs> <laughs> fika is like a coffee break that we have in our countries but mm -hmm. 
it has a special name here. So mm -hmm. uh, it's more like a Swedish uh, coffee break, you could say. And that generally lasts from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the company and the environment. And mm -hmm. uh, it's like kind of an unwritten rule that you are supposed to att attend the FICA for sure. Like in our countries, we can kind of skip it and no one feels bad about it. <laughs> but here yeah, people yeah. feel bad that you didn't attend the FICA. So yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah. of interesting here. Like yeah. they want you to come out and be open and you know talk to them and share your experiences and yeah. learn from them even if you can. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a different experience actually for me as well. Even I work uh, two Swedish companies in Bangladesh. Uh, mm -hmm. We feel that uh, after in every half an hour or one hour, we got FICA because <laughs> in Bangladesh, you know, people are talking and talking always. So yeah. uh, when I work in H&M, so I feel that uh, every one hour or every half an hour, uh, mm -hmm. someone is coming to my desk and then, oh, yaar, kya kar rahe tu? So ऐसा होता है बांग्लादेश में एंड देन मैं जब कपाल में था तब भी मेरा मेरा ऐसा परसेप्शन था कि फीका क्या होता है लाइक सुरेश जो बायर्स लोग आते थे एज अ गेस्ट हम लोग बातें करते थे एंड देन वो लोग मेंशन करते थे कि हम लोग फीका में जाएंगे तो हम लोग समझते नहीं ये फीका क्या है तो हम लोग क्या करते थे फीका में जाते थे उन लोगों के साथ एंड देन हम लोग बातें शुरू करते हैं हम लोगों के साथ लाइक जो बांग्लादेशी है लेकिन फीका इज समथिंग लाइक दैट दैट यू विल transfer your learning and education and knowledge to someone else who doesn't exactly. know you so to yeah. make a relationship and uh, ma make a social social uh, uh, like professional yeah bonding and social relationship yeah. so i i feel the same and then when i come here mujhe laga ke first jab main fika mein gaya to mujhe laga ke ye log gol ho ke sab log gol ho ke ek table tha purana office mein to sab log gol gol ho ke then sab log बातें कर रहा है बातें नहीं कर रहा है फर्स्ट जाके बैठ बैठ गया कॉफी लेके कोई कुछ बातें नहीं कर रहा है तो मैं भी जाके बैठ गया मैं नया था मैं भी जाके बैठ गया तो सब लोग मेरे तरफ देख रहे थे कि क्या चल रहा है इसका क्या है ऐसा कुछ देख रहा है तो मैं भी देख रहा था क्या बोलू मुझे पता नहीं है क्या बोलू तो देन मैं देखा फाइव मिनट तक वो लोग ऐसे ही कुछ एक दूसरे की तरफ देखती रहा शुरू की जस्ट देखती रहा एंड देन आफ्टर दैट दे स्टार्ट ठोकी एंड देन मुझे मुझे पूछा तुम कहा से आए हो मैं जानता हूँ तुम बांग्लादेश से आए हो बांग्लादेश और इंडिया में क्या है फर्क क्या है कल्चरल डिफरेंस क्या है ये है तो मैंने देखा कि ओके फाइन देन दे आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग दम सेल्फ विथ मी एंड एंड आई एम ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग माई सेल्फ दैट हाउ गुड आई एम और हाउ बैड आई एम और हाउ इफ आई एम ए सोशल पर्सन और नॉट सो दिस फीका इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फॉर स्वीडिश कल्चर Huh. Is there anything you noticed about Sweden uh, during your working or work environment or what? कुछ तो उसको ने देखा है। हाँ, बस यही है कि बहुत सारे Swedish लोग अपने आप introduce करते हैं। Like it's not like you just meet your team, but the whole company tries to you know talk to you on your first few days and try to understand you and even you know know about your place, your hometown, what not. तो थोड़ा टाइम लगता है पर वो लोग ज्यादा बात करते हैं लाइक दे वांट यू टू टॉक अ लॉट बिकॉज हम लोग जानते हैं कि जब नए एक जॉब में आए हो तो वो कितना मुश्किल होता है लाइक टू मर्ज इन टू देम एंड ट्राई टू ब्लेंड इन टू द कंपनी दैट्स काइंड ऑफ द क्रूशियल टाइम फॉर योर होल टाइम अहेड इन द कंपनी तो दे वॉन्ट टू मेक यू फील कम्फर्टेबल एज मच एज यू यू नो फील लाइक सो That's the reason they try to talk to you because ah, uh, many mm -hmm. local friends nahi hote wahan pe. So most of them don't even know anyone in the place that they stay. So it's like ah, uh, they try to make you comfortable. So that's mm -hmm. a good thing. Yeah, wo wo to Bangladesh India ko to pata nahi. Lekin Bangladesh mein to har taraf se hota hai. Jab naya log aate hain to sab to. I mean, even in India it's the same. Like ah, uh, many okay. log baat to karte hain. Like they try to make become friendly as soon as possible. So wo to hai. हाँ लेकिन लेकिन बांग्लादेश में कुछ सिचुएशन कुछ अलग है फॉर अदर कंपनीज लाइक इन बांग्लादेश मे बी देर सम कंपनीज हु लाइक डोंट फॉलो दैट रूल्स बट सम कंपनीज है वहां पे जो लोग जो नए आते हैं ना उन लोगों को समटाइम्स मॉक करते हैं एंड देन उन लोगों के साथ बातें नहीं करते हैं उन लोगों को उसको आना चाहिए एंड देन बात कर, बातें करना चाहिए ऐसा कुछ होता है नहीं, नहीं, तो नहीं तो नहीं आ, जो नया आया है उन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू मिक्स अदर्स बट हियर इन स्वीडन वी फील दैट देर नो हियर की देर नो इट्स वेरी फ्लैट 
So they take you to the party. They will drink with you. They will share their memories, their experience, yeah. their per their personal matters as well. Without without politics. I mean, it we depends share. on how how friendly you have become with them. Exactly. Because exactly. there is this slight, uh, you know, borderline. Which Swedish people are like that. Most of the Swedish are introverts, first of all. Yeah. So yeah. depends on how friendly you became with your colleagues. Uh, they sit with you. They drink beer with you. But then sometimes they don't share their personal oh. because they want to yeah. keep it personal because yeah. they are yeah. introverts. So yeah. no matter how close they are in the office, yeah. after they yeah. come out of the office, sometimes they are like um, one and zero outside. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That also happens. So you need to be uh, careful to know whom yes. whom to be friendly with and whom not to be. So yeah, yeah. That is uh, also a, a slight, uh, you know, interesting thing you find in Sweden. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Some people are like that, but in uh, yeah. in, in Aleko, I should say that everyone is uh, very, very open, and they are talking. <laughs> they are talking about their family. They are talking about their wife, where she yeah, goes, yeah. what she did. Uh, <laughs> Run, uh, like the jab khana pakana tha wo khana like jala diya aur kuch kar diya to ye sab bhi baatein karte hai office mein aur fika bhi karte hai fika time mein to sare bahut sare aise baatein hote rehte hai na baatein hote rehte so it's a very very comfortable working uh, environment in sweden i should of say of course of course yeah, yeah and uh, what about netherlands when you when you work in netherlands and then now in sweden what do you feel the difference uh to be frank i didn't have exact industrial exposure over there my i my designation was a design engineer and that was inside a university so i was working in an r and d inside the university so i didn't kind of had the exact exposure as i had over here but um, i did work with uh, philips over there like i even visited uh, their campus uh, okay. in eindhoven so yeah, yeah, yeah. i kind of experienced it but not as yeah. good as i did it in sweden so yeah. Yeah. it is kind of similar and uh, they are more extroverts not like swedish so it was kind of easier for me to you know mingle with them over there and it was more international even like they had uh, many people from germany and switzerland and uk even so it wasn't that hard i mean you also have international teams here but um, mm. depends on what kind of industry you are in so it was a yeah. uh, kind of a uh, little easier i would say in netherlands mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. yeah they are english speaking country as like yeah. swedish and yeah. they were extro extroverts and yeah that's the reason i guess okay so so the, if i if i summarize it like uh, swedish people they are very introvert and then during the professional job order like colleagues they don't mix up with suddenly uh, in, a, in a in a sudden they they don't have time instant yeah, you yeah, need to yeah. Yeah, keep uh, talking to them interact with yeah. them as much as you yeah. can and yeah yeah Make so yeah yeah make friendship and colleagues and uh, take them to outside or have invite some them for a beer cookies. or something yeah, yeah. beer right. or something yeah, yeah yeah so that kind of thing i think yeah i, I think that uh, it's it's kind of different uh, culture and uh, yeah, I, I i feel the i feel the same also though when there are like uh, we we have an office in the us in chicago and some mm -hmm. americans are coming sometimes like in every month some some yeah colleagues are coming and then they are talking their uh, types of like how they mix with the uh, other colleagues and how mm -hmm. swedish people mix with their colleagues it's it's far difference i should say mm -hmm. uh, like uh, uh, in in a sense uh, swedish people take time to to mix with the people they first see and know about you and then day by day they will come to know you yeah. but you was they will say, oh what's the bro how yeah. is going on how they are, are more you? open i would say Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are more open yeah yeah but uh, it's good in a way uh, not to uh, be yeah. that much open uh, in, in the very true. beginning and then That's just true. go in a very good way to them and then yeah mm -hmm. make your relationship with them i i appreciate mm -hmm. uh my next and, question uh, is yeah please sorry i would like to add one more point by for this question like uh, fika is like a common thing don't think of it as just a professional thing like every swedish knows fika and uh, even if you are a student you can go out and invite a swedish exactly. guy for a fika to uh, exactly. i don't know a no, coffee shop or something so yeah yeah that might be your you know way to build up your social network even so yes yeah yes. don't think of it as something professional it's like no. fika is for everyone Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, students also like uh, during the group uh, work or project work or something. Yes. This is work. Uh, they take that, and uh, if your groupmate is Swedish, mm -hmm. 
then uh, you must offer cof coffee or something, coffee break or something. Of course, yep. uh, he will buy his coffee or he or she will buy his coffee by his own. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I mean, that that's another matter. culture, I guess. Like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. everyone pays their own uh, coffee or whatever. Yeah, this is very weird, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Like either I pay or you pay depends on the situation. But <laughs> like everyone goes together to a party and then everyone pays for themselves. Like it's like an unwritten rule again. No yeah, one yeah, needs yeah. to say that. <laughs> No, no, no. It's it's uh, unannounced kind of. Yes. That uh, exactly. you will pay yourself and then. But but it's to happen. Everything chal, goes usual. Rehta. Everything goes yeah. normal and then but everyone takes out their wallet and then pays and goes with. Exactly. This culture is yeah. very important because uh, the the students are coming from Asia. They yeah. they don't know about this culture. They think that okay, I have a good relationship with them. Maybe he will he's gonna pay for me. But no, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> yeah. That's so, kind of tricky to learn even hai? for me. Yeah. Ha. हमारे कंट्री में क्या होता है दोस्त लोग हम लोग जाते हैं और कॉलेज लोग जाते हैं दोस्त लोग के बीच में तो खेलता रहता है लाइक या तो तू पे करेगा नहीं तो मैं पे करूंगा या इवन कॉलेज आई एग्री लाइक कॉलेज तो फ्रेंड ही बन जाता है बाद में वो अलग बात है एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली तो क्या होता है लाइक यार तू पे कर दे मेरे पास आज नहीं है हां और यार तू पे कर दे आज तो ऐसा होता है चलता है साइक्लिक ऑर्डर लेकिन यहां पे ऐसा नहीं होता है ऐसा नहीं होता है एंड देन यू यू कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट दैट बट फीका स्टूडेंट्स कैन डू दैट Exactly. Anyone can do that in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, anyone, I think, friends they can go for fika. I I should say the students are like in the school, uh, like mm -hmm. my 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 daughter. Uh, they are also they are also having fika in every day, and then yeah. uh, it's uh, they 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 divided in a group like five five children there, five children there. There there are mm -hmm. some groups, and then they talk each other, and then they take some uh, cookies or something. So it's yeah. it's a different culture. So for the students, I want to say that. Uh, uh the students who are coming here as international students if you have child or children or uh, your children is also will, will be also habituated with this kind of culture i should say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we will go to the next question and the next question is uh how can international students can get job here in sweden very important question <laughs> yeah this is the biggest question i guess for every student who comes to sweden or any other exactly, country like exactly. how do you find a job <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i mean this question i think is kind of tricky and uh depends on many factors and even a bit of luck luck i guess in the end but uh like in my case like i didn't have a bit of luck at that time like i tried a few kind of jobs but uh, it didn't turn out in the end i couldn't stay in sweden unfortunately at that time so but most of all i think uh, when you come here and start your masters degree i think uh, the first year you will be kind of busy with your you know, courses and never neglect your courses if you want to find no. a professional job or a technical yeah. job on yeah. your yeah. particular field of expertise so yeah. you need to maintain the grades i mean you cannot go lower because uh, it is a tough market out here and in order to be you know standing in the top of the line i think you need to uh, maintain your grades first of all and then second from second year i think you should start hunting and you know you need to know how the job market is so you need to start uh, researching on it and even try to find an industrial uh, internship if you can so that would be the right way to you know uh, drive you into the market because industrial ex uh, internships are the uh, first step to you know uh, start a job even because mm -hmm. they can go into permanent uh, uh, you know uh, jobs even in the future depending what kind of on how you yaar mujhe ek baat bata ke bahut sare networks hai yahan pe job search karne ke liye i i mean professional job we are talking about professional job actually aur job to yahan pe student job log aate hai part time job to mil hi jata hai actually रेस्टोरेंट में मिल जाता है होटल में होटल में मिल जाता है और क्लीनिंग एजेंसी में मिल जाता है और इवन दुकान में मिल जाता है एग्जैक्टली बाहर में मिलता है लेकिन मेरा कहना है कि फॉर द प्रोफेशनल जॉब फॉर स्पेसिफिक फील्ड हाउ दे विल स्टार्ट सर्चिंग लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ नेटवर्क दे विल यूज फॉर दैट व्हाट डू यू थिंक uh most of the companies uh they would try to find uh individuals uh, right in their home place like for example if we are in hampstead and uh, some company wants to find people they would like to look at people in hampstead first of all that is the easiest of all like the guy is already here he knows yeah. things let's interview him and take him in if we can so that's mm -hmm. how they think so uh i think that would be the uh, the first thing that the companies do and then it mm -hmm. goes out it searches 
all over the country like for example in sweden it uh, tries to search pe- from people from stockholm loon malmo i don't know people can be anywhere gothenburg yeah. even yeah. so yeah. they start searching all over the country and uh, try to screen individuals uh, conduct as many interviews as they can and and then they go out and try to find a uh, european or so international. so they so they go to the different uh, uh, like uh, network like linkedin or uh, I mean, kind of again it that? depends on the con- on the companies and the amount of resources they have most of the companies would like to directly recu- recruit individuals like uh, mm-hmm. if they have enough funding they would directly post the ad in linkedin their company mm-hmm. websites mm-hmm. and of course from their company websites it goes to other job portals as you say yeah. so and also they would uh, consider these consultant companies which are already having some uh, you know expert pool with them and yeah they can even try to find people from there so okay. so if i if i say that if uh, someone like you like very uh, skilled and uh, efficient and uh, extraordinary talented person like you oh if he is here world, yeah nahi <laughs> yaar nahi yaar tu hai aisa aisa tu hai thank you so to jin log jin log yahan pe aate hain and then like 12 years or 15 years job experience hai unke paas aur wo वो सोचता है कि वो बहुत टेक्निकल है लाइक सिविल इंजीनियर है और 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 आई थिंक डॉक्टर्स है और इंजीनियर्स है सम अदर या लाइक फ्रॉम अदर सेक्शंस तो उन लोगों के साथ लाइक उन लोग उन लोगों को क्या चाहिए लाइक like, uh, वो डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट कंसल्टेंसी में जाए और वहां पे पैसा भरे और वहां से बोले कि मेरा सीवी ये है मुझे जॉब दिला दो ऐसा कुछ बोले और लिंक्डइन में प्रोफाइल खोले uh, कैसे जॉब सर्च करे पहला चीज तो ये होगा कि एक लिंक्डइन प्रोफाइल तो क्रिएट करना ही पड़ेगा आज की दुनिया में तो लिंक्डइन प्रोफाइल अपडेटेड रहना चाहिए और उसको यू कैन लुक एट अदर प्रोफाइल इफ यू वांट तो उसको ठीक से बनाना बहुत जरूरी है आजकल एंड आल्सो बिकॉज दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज यू हैव टू शेयर दिस प्रोफाइल विद मेनी ऑफ दीज कंसल्टेंसीज और कंपनीज दैट यू आर thinking to apply for to mm-hmm. ye zaruri hai ki uh, cv ke alawa linkedin profile bhi updated rehna chahiye aur wo bhi uh, theek se banana bhi important hai like agar tumhe koi awards mile hai to wo bhi include karo koi mm-hmm. certifications mile hai to wo bhi include karo mm-hmm. kyunki ye sab cv mein fit nahi honge cv mm-hmm. kitne ka hoga do page teen page ka hoga maximum but yes. linkedin is not like that it can accommodate anything that you have yeah. you can yeah. even put your i don't know uh, tumne social work kiya kahi pe koi donation exactly. kiya wo bhi link exactly. kar sakte ho exactly. so that also people look at it like uh, mm-hmm. how social you are like how important it is to be you know a social being so mm-hmm. these profiles have become more very important these days so linkedin profile updated rakhna chahiye and then i think uh, consultancies isliye acche hain kyunki they have a lot of job openings that they know of uh, internal mm-hmm. openings bhi pata hote hain unko mm-hmm. and they are not posted on the company websites generally yeah. so they have a lot of job openings that they can you know fit you into so that might be one way you know to start your job search don't keep yourself uh, you know approaching just the consultancies but you start with the consultancies and you yourself try to find jobs in uh, any big companies or whichever company you want to go into mm-hmm. and also these job search portals jo hain i don't know uh, you can take monster or whatever so usme to all job ke ads hote hi rehte hain so keep uh, look at that mm-hmm. uh mujhe laga ke like जो कंसल्टेंसी में जाएगा लाइक दोस्ट हुआ लाइक गोइंग टू कंसल्टेंसी फॉर्म हियर इन स्वीडन दे आर वेरी प्रोफेशनल दे हैव ऑल द एडवर्टाइजमेंट एंड एवरीथिंग इन स्वीडन लाइक बिग बिग कंपनीज दे आर टेकिंग द पीपल फ्रॉम कंसल्टेंसी फॉर्म एक्चुअली सो दिस दिस नेटवर्क इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड देन लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल तो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आई फील मुझे मुझे जॉब मिला लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल से एक्चुअली मेरा भी एक्चुअली आई हैव बीन कंसिडर्ड through yeah. my linkedin profile i think yeah. now three or four times already like yeah. mere pichle teen ya char job to isse hi hue hain hmm. so linkedin, LinkedIn profile is very very important i should say it's a, it's the core thing now because most of the companies hr they are connected in linkedin and they yes. don't want to waste their money to this consultancy firm so they want exactly. to directly recruit from there sure. so if they found something interesting or very skilled uh, employees or like uh, very experienced someone they will knock you 
and then yeah. they will they will try to catch you in a way they will they will yes. make the interview and everything what is the process of the interviewing and recruiting system in sweden what do you think uh it's uh, almost the same as everywhere like uh, the hr team will uh, make contact with you first try to approach you through a mail and then schedule a time with you to speak personally see how you are and try to understand your experience and uh, different kinds of skill set that you have and then if you are going through a consultancy i think the consultancy will schedule a technical interview with the company yeah. and uh, the company will i think take at least one interview depending on how they want to consider you and how much expertise you have so they can take at least one or two interviews uh again and wo company ke hr bhi call kar sakte hain kabhi kabhi like depending on it on the company size and uh, situation or location even so mm -hmm. that's how it goes phone phone ka jo recruitment uh, kitna time interview hua tha tera how many times ha okay uh mera to uh, ek hr ka call hua tha uske baad mere manager ke sath ek hua tha and i was interviewed by my swiss counterpart like my head office is in switzerland so mm. i was done i mean i was uh, interviewed by the technical uh, people from switzerland so mm. that was another one and after that i think i had a hr session with my local company to mera to teen ya char ho gaye already <laughs> actually yahan pe hota hai ye screen out ke liye ye char aur panch interview bhi leta hai actually yes. and yes. Uh, the, the the for for the managers people like who are like including as a manager uh, ceo bhi involve ho jata hai aur operation yes. aur yes. operations ka jo head hai wo bhi involve ho jata hai interview mein because yes. wo log dekhna chahta hai ki how skilled you are and why they will take you they have they have they, uh, there is an obligations also why that they, they will take as an international students or yes. international people from outside even if they, they they can recruit it from here like in sweden or yeah. european union or yeah. something uh, why they will recruit you if you are very special then they will recruit you otherwise why they will do that they, they yeah. can they can have a have a have a good salary range for others and then this this money will go to directly to their to their country but mm -hmm. now uh, this this money in any way they they you were paying the remittance to india and i'm paying yeah. the remittance to bangladesh so in yeah. any way we are doing that so i feel that uh, they, they take uh, several interview and uh, yeah at uh, least uh, three for sure like one hr yeah, yeah. one technical and then one yeah other discussions manageable yeah so at least three interviews for sure but yeah, ek yeah, bat yeah. batana chahta hu yahan pe ye jo interview ki sessions hai ye depends on the experience you have even kyunki shuruaat mein jab masters karke bahar nikle honge to us samay to utna experience nahi hoga most of us तो उस समय क्या करते हैं दे सेंड यू अ टेक्निकल टेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वो देखना चाहते हैं कि कितना स्किल्स है टेते ने बस तो इट कैन इवन बी एन ऑनलाइन टेस्ट और दे कैन डू अ लाइव सेशन विद यू आस्क अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस क्विकली एंड सी हाउ यू गुड यू हाउ गुड यू आर इन द यू नो बेसिक थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू बी एक्सपर्ट इन ओके या स्टूडेंट्स के लिए ऐसे शुरू होगा लाइक इट वुड बी अ टेस्ट मोस्टली ऑनलाइन एंड देन द इंटरव्यूज एक बात बोलना चाहता हूँ ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस हाउ इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस फॉर द प्रोफेशनल जॉब हाँ दिस इज आई थिंक एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग हियर इन द यूरोपियन यूनियन लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज वुड लुक फॉर बी और सी लाइसेंस एज वी कॉल दम हियर तो अगेन इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द फील्ड ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज यू आर फ्रॉम फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेरा तो ऑडियो इंजीनियरिंग का जॉब है तो मेरे जॉब रिक्वायरमेंट्स में ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस नहीं था तो I know driving. That's a different thing, but <laughs> the requirement was like I didn't, I didn't need to have a Swedish license. Yeah. So, yeah. But most of the, for example, mechanical engineering jobs or yeah, mechatronics. So, so those people for them, it was a requirement most of the times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in Alaiko, we saw that uh, in every recruitment process, uh, we need a driving license. Actually, they yeah. prefer because of uh, uh, mostly sales. पीपल का तो होना ही चाहिए ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस एंड देन सर्विस टीम का होना चाहिए और मैं तो अप्रैल में जॉब करता हूं फिर भी मेरे को लाइक like, इंस्पिरेशन के लिए शॉप में जाना पड़ता है बहुत सारे शॉप्स में हम लोग घूमते हैं देखते हैं डिजाइन देखते हैं कपड़ा का क्या है ये सब देखते हैं तो मटेरियल uh, सोर्स करते हैं हम लोग और uh, हम लोग बहुत सारे ट्रैवलिंग करते हैं यू नो दैट यू ऑल्सो ट्रैवल अ लॉट सो जब नेदरलैंड्स जाते हैं और पोर्टुगल uh, जाते हैं और पोलैंड जाते हैं सम अदर कंट्रीज जाते हैं हम लोग तो हम लोग ऐसा होता है कि हम लोग गाड़ी भाड़ा कर लेते हैं वहां पे like two or three days and then we roam around by ourselves 
क्योंकि वो लोग अपने आप आके तुम्हें पिक करके ड्रॉप करना या नहीं तो टैक्सी के लिए क्या क्या करने वो इन्फॉर्मेशन देना तो वो एक हेड होगी उन लोगों के लिए तो इट वुड बी इजियर फॉर देम टू जस्ट आस्क यू टू गो पिक द कार फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द एयरपोर्ट लाइक इट माइट बी वेटिंग फॉर यू और समथिंग तो यू कैन टेक योर ओन कार एंड देन यू नो ट्राई टू फाइंड द एड्रेस टू दी ऑफिस और समथिंग तो इसलिए लाइक टू इट शुड बी एबल टू हैंडल योर सेल्फ सो दैट्स द रीजन दे आस्क फॉर Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree because it's uh, important. So for the students, international students who are coming here, you can drive here one year with your driving license, like with yes. your local driving license, your country's driving license. No matter it's uh, international, there, there is no need to international driving license here in Sweden. If you have an in, Indian driving license, if you have a, a Bangladeshi driving license, that's okay. You can drive here until one year, and then uh, you have to. If if you have child and uh, it's uh, they are school going, so you can extend. If you're a student, you can extend it for six months or one year. That's uh, that they will do. But uh, if you have a job or something, you will not. Then uh, you must have a Swedish driving license after one year to drive here in legally. And if you drive here without driving license and if the time permits like gone already one year, if it catches by someone like police or something, then uh, there is. Uh, they will ban you first of all. For yeah, a few for, months. For three years. For, 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 I mean, uh, depending on how many times you are caught. But for the exactly, first time, right. they will ban you for three to six months. Three, you cannot drive a car in the country, and then yeah. they can ban you permanently, even. Yeah, three years and then permanently. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the fine to hey six six thousand Swedish crown hai three to six thousand Swedish crown hai. So, yeah, yeah. The fines are very expensive, right? Who is the fines are very expensive. Very, very. बहुत और जो पार्किंग का टिकट लगता है वो भी 500 के नीचे तो नहीं है नीचे नहीं होती है एग्जैक्टली एंड गोतनबर्ग में 700 है स्टॉकहोल्ड में 800 है यार या या कितना है पार्किंग टिकट ओ माय गॉड द बिगर द सिटी इज द हायर द फाइंस आर फाइन यार फाइन सर या या सो बी केयरफुल इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स हु आर कमिंग हियर डोंट पार्क समवेयर यू डोंट यू आर नॉट श्योर दैट यू कैन पार्क देयर एंड देन इफ यू डू दैट यू विल हैव अ वेरी नाइस येलो टिकट on your card and it's cost it cost 500 to and if you try to ignore it it will get multiplied and yeah, then yeah, they yeah. will every catch day you. Yeah, yeah yeah every day it will if you don't pay this like uh, in 15 days then it will go double and then next day triple and then yeah thrice four and yeah it will be you will be destroyed <laughs> and it is linked to your uh, social security number and it's yes. it's like you cannot avoid it like it's like it's not like something you throw in the trash can no, or something no, and then everyone no. forgets about it it, it no, doesn't no, work no. that way like any kind of uh, mails or fines that you get are linked to your social security yes. number so everything yeah. is digitized yeah so uh, you cannot uh, hide it because it, yes. it's already in your social security number like person number as we say yes. and this person number when you apply for permanent residency after 4 years after 4 years they will job, do a credit yeah. check and uh, they will check if you have yeah you know <laughs> left any uh, debts that you yeah, need to yeah. pay that's the requirement actually huh? yeah yeah that's true so that's the that's the requirement that you don't you should not have any you must not have any debt uh, uh, yeah here in sweden so to get a permanent residency so and uh, also no crime or some other things so yeah, so, yeah uh, we will go we will move forward uh, do you think in a difference working in sweden and outside you already answered that question we yeah. will move forward to another another question uh, do you think getting job professional job in sweden is difficult uh i wouldn't say difficult but i wouldn't say it's easy either because as i said like uh, the job uh, pool is kind of uh, always uh, hard to you know uh, swim through so bahut sare cheeze pe depend karti hai most of the times you are the top 5 guys like they consider and most of the times you won't even get screened into the interviews as well so depends on many factors but in sweden i think uh, they are quite open to all the candidates they will definitely consider your profile they will go through your profile they even try to talk to you for just a informal chat like they don't directly go to a technical interview but they will do an informal chat see how you are you are and you know try to understand you even mm -hmm. so yeah i think uh, it's it is as hard as any other country i guess like even in india it isn't easy to find a job right away like it takes time it, you need to put some time and patience and 
you need to keep trying so yeah yeah so you in your world it's uh, it's in a way it's uh, difficult and in a way it's uh, kind of easy if you are in the right place at the right time i would say why it is easy uh, if you do the math like for example in india we are like almost uh, 1.5 billion people now and consider the job uh, prospects over there like how many jobs are there and how many uh, unemployed individuals are there mm-hmm. uh, but in sweden yaha pe jo log hain bahut kam hain and you have a vast area of the country and there are many international companies here so uske wajah se i think you have a bigger job pool but then uh, depending on your skill set i think uh, you need to swim the job pool <laughs> या आई एग्री बिकॉज लोगों की तरफ से तो लाइक like, यहाँ पे एक करोड़ है और इंडिया yeah. uh, का तो बात ही मत लो बांग्लादेश में 163 मिलियन पीपल यार क्या बोलू एंड देन ये बहुत छोटा कंट्री है या बहुत बड़ा कंट्री है तो इसमें वन करोड़ लोग हैं तो उन हिसाब से इंटरनेशनल बहुत सारे कंपनीज है जो लोग रिक्रूट करता है और उन लोगों का स्किल डिफिशियंसी है एग्जैक्टली exactly. यहाँ के लोग जो हैं वो ये नहीं है कि सब लोग जाके इंजीनियर बनो या सब लोग जाके डॉक्टर no. बनो ऐसा नहीं होता है लाइक दे चूज वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू बी तो इसके वजह से क्या होता है कि यू डोंट फाइंड द राइट स्किल सेट यू नीड बहुत सारे डिफिशियंसी तो है यहाँ पे तो उसके वजह से आई थिंक यू कैन ऑलवेज एंड अप इन टू एन इंटरव्यू विच इज द क्रूशियल थिंग इन ए जॉब सर्च या बहुत सारे पोजीशन है जहाँ पे लोग नहीं मिल रहे हैं मैं एक डिजाइनर ढूंढ रहा हूँ हम लोग डिजाइनर ढूंढ रहे हैं वन ईयर मोर देन वन ईयर आई थिंक बट मिल नहीं रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ द स्किल we don't yeah. we don't find anyone like uh, very capable for like to design like we she or he has to have like uh, uh, five years of working experience in different swedish brand or something wo is tarah ka log nahi milega to nahi milega nahi milega to aisa kuch hota hai ki jo log ka skills bahut special hai like construction mein un logo ka bahut skill hai india ka logo ka aur bangladeshi logo ka aur nepal aur sri lanka aur pakistan ka to kya hota hai wo log yahan pe aake bahut easy se job mil jata hai क्योंकि ये स्किल नहीं है इन लोगों के पास yeah. कुछ कुछ ट्रेनिंग देगा और तुम बहुत लाइक like, जेम बन जाओगे तो uh, थोड़ा सा ट्रेनिंग लेनी है एनवायरनमेंट uh, सीखने के लिए और अगर uh, भाषा आ गई तो वो और भी बढ़िया होगा लैंग्वेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इफ यू थिंक दैट इफ इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड अ जॉब इन हियर इन स्वीडन व्हाई व्हाई यू थिंक दैट आ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लैंग्वेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट इट इज नॉट अ बैरियर टू फाइंड अ जॉब they would like to uh, know that you know speak you do speak swedish a little but uh, then they would do your interviews in english and uh, uh, most of the times uh, landing an interview is the crucial thing so how do you stay uh, in their uh, you know radar how do you stay inside their radar so that is the big question kyunki jab wo search karte hain to they check for many different things and if you have this language skill set as one they give you a tick and uh these filters that they apply they are mostly softwares that uh, yeah. do this for them so usme yeah. say you need to pick these keywords like you need to have the exact keywords that they have in the job description sometimes so mm-hmm. these things uh, do matter a lot yeah 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 i i, I agree because uh, wo log filter karte hain and uh, they they do the filter with the software and then uh, like the requirement and then they will t- do the interview and then they will check it like yes. tick it yeah and if there is something missing they will they will filter it out and yes. they will, then they will they will look for look, look this kind of quality to the next yeah. candidate so, so if they have like 10 requirements if you are meeting five of them they will keep you in the buffer mm-hmm. yes so as many as you can meet is the key thing to you know land yeah. an interview yeah 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 so that's why it's so difficult i think uh, our audience uh, yes. got the answer why why it's so difficult and why it's so easy uh we will uh, we are just uh, we have a uh, 11 minutes more discuss but uh, we will take some questions from the audience and then sure. we will we will uh, yeah try to answer that so first mm-hmm. question i will i will see here um mm-hmm, uh yeah uh, here is one um maliha tasneem she is a doctor i know her Uh, okay. yeah, yeah she applied uh, in gothenburg university this year and got admission actually so she contacted uh, me as uh, through the nordic terms uh, she uh, she her question is uh, bhai is there any official website for finding finding job we say that we answered that question monster hai linkedin hai aur wo 
कंपनी में जाओ उसमें करियर फेज में देखो कुछ है कि नहीं जॉब्स uh, के लिए तो पहला चीज ये है कि स्वीडन में स्पेशली यू हैव दिस आर्बिट्स फॉर मेड लिंगन तो वही गो टू साइट है लाइक दैट्स द फर्स्ट गो टू साइट टू विजिट व्हेन यू वांट टू कम टू स्वीडन ओके एंड देन एक्सेप्ट लिंक्डइन काइंडली मेंशन द साइट्स इफ समवन कैन नॉट मैनेज एनी काइंड ऑफ जॉब व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल जॉब्स आर सजेस्टेड व्हिच आर अपेरेंटली मैनेजेबल ये ऑड जॉब्स तो एज यू सेड आर आसान आसान है फाइंडिंग तो इजी है बट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ मच यू कैन पुट द एफर्ट यू कैन फाइंड रेस्टोरेंट जॉब्स आई डोंट नो क्लोथ स्टोर जॉब्स समर जॉब्स मोस्ट ऑफ द समर जॉब्स आर क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग दे पे यू गुड एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू वर्क फॉर थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स ओके सो इट्स इज इट मैनेजेबल लाइक समर विदाउट समर जॉब स्टूडेंट्स के लिए समर जॉब्स यू नो आर अट्रैक्टिव क्योंकि समर में तो ब्रेक मिलती है स्टूडेंट्स के लिए तो उस समय वर्क करके पैसे कमाओ थोड़ा सा एंड देन ट्राई टू सस्टेन योर सेल्फ एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स कैन आल्सो वर्क ऑन सैटरडेज एंड संडेज इवन सो ओके अनदर क्वेश्चन आई विल टेक या द सेम मलिहा तस्नीम फ्रॉम अनदर क्वेश्चन इज इन स्वीडन कैन द डिपेंडेंट स्टडी फॉर फ्री and if the dependent wants to apply for masters uh, when he can apply if after the main applicant completes the study uh, in in sweden can the dependent study for free uh, i am not sure about the students though but uh, agar job mein aaye hai to of course it is free uh, I, but i think for even students it is free like if you are coming it's together free. i think it's free for it's uh, free. your dependent yeah, yeah yeah that's true and that's true. you can start immediately you don't need to wait yes. for your uh, no. partner to finish your no degree. no no hmm. Yeah, that's true. That uh, uh, main applicants क्या कर रहा है वो matter नहीं करता है. कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है. कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है. अगर dependent चाहे चाहे के वो job like job भी करे and study भी करे. सब लोगों की तरह apply करो और अगर select हो गए तो तुरंत शुरू कर सकते हो. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and then uh, will the Swedish government declare any new rule or laws for the international students due to COVID-19 situation? Ah, uh, this is difficult to answer, I guess. Like uh, the whole world is going bonkers, and no one knows what to do. So, I am. I don't have any answer for this. <laughs> I can say something about it. Like Swedish government now declare uh, uh, declare to have a social distance, of course. And then, if someone is found like in Stockholm, if someone is found like uh, with their family, full family, shopping, uh, doing shopping in the shopping mall or something, and uh, uh, They, they are not maintaining the social distancing or something. They will be fined by the government. Yeah. That kind of news we we got from social niyathar, SBT niyathar or something. And then yeah. uh, exp- expression may be, wo uh, government ne bola hai ki agar uh, log aana chahte hai ya pe study ke liye, to this is too early to take this kind of decision. Exactly. Because, Chunki, because yeah. इंटरनेशनल ट्रेवल भी अभी तक प्रॉपरली शुरू नहीं हुई है तो इट इज काइंड ऑफ ट्रिकी लाइक अगर शुरू होगा भी तो शायद पहले दो तीन महीने के लिए ऑनलाइन भी हो सकती है because they cannot come here so their plan and yeah. everything is going to going to be ruined so they think that oh uh, what i will do if i do online nahi wo permanent nahi hogi like abhi ke liye to temporary hogi like for the first 3 to 6 months let's say they can be asked to attend the first few uh, subjects as online courses and then they can be asked to come when yeah. we have better situation yeah 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 yeah, uh, yeah that's true and uh, for the for the students like uh, i should say the international students i think uh, just uh, you apply for the visa if you pay mm-hmm. the tuition fee just apply for the accommodation and apply for the visa and then if you uh, uh, it's it's the, their decision like university's decision that if you, they will come up with online classes or if they will give give you visa because it's you will come here 31st of august the class will be started and now it's my like may already so uh, yeah. may to august it's it's too early to take this kind of decision so what the process is you just apply for the accommodation and if accommodation is already confirmed you can apply for the visa and then just wait and yeah. come down a little bit just take the preparation how you will come here so i think that's the there's the most i think most uh, uh, common suggestion from everyone in sweden who are living in, in here i should yeah. say 
um dr farhana mubin uh, she is also a doctor uh, mm -hmm. she writes here i will take the last question please explain the current situation of the universities due to covid 19 situation university chal raha hai chal to rahe hain like uh, they are not especially oh, in sweden yahan pe to schools chal rahe hain universities chal rahe hain everything is going as is supposed to be par yeah. bas ye thoda sa rules badle hain restaurants hain to they are just uh, working as takeaways like you cannot yeah. dine over there but you can no. order food and get it delivered contactless yeah. deliveries bhi hain yeah. yeah. and of course uh, the classes are going on uh, most of them are online but mm -hmm. yeah everything is going as it's yeah. supposed to be <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so they are uh, just the just to let the uh, let know uh, let, let the audience know about that uh, uh, the situation here in sweden it's it's very very normal because we can go to the office we can shop to the to the shopping mall we can all the shops the are open all, all the, the malls are, are open, open. Yeah. exactly mcdonalds are open <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, everything is open but the education they are giving now for the high school to the university it's online, online. yes but the schools are open like for the children the 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 yeah the schools are open but uh, the high school and uh, colleges and uh, then up to the university it's by online so that's why uh, here uh, swedish government take the decision that we we will not lock, lock we will not lock down because everything will be going in a in a, in a good way if we do not lock down if we maintain the social distance yes the main agenda is that uh, they can sustain themselves for quite long periods like they can do this for 6 months if they want to and that wouldn't affect the economy as much as a lockdown so that's yeah. the motivation i guess you yeah, can sustain for yourself well. for months and years even if you want to yeah 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 true true uh, just last question devnath shorov alan bhai how could i contact with nordic terms regarding study masters in sweden just uh, write uh, go to nordic terms page nordicterms.se and then uh, just go uh, sign it up with the registration and then go to the eligibility test if you are eligible you will get mail automatically we will get get to know that uh, devnath shorov uh, shorov uh you already eligible we will start contact with you otherwise you can just write the mail to service at nordicturns.se then khadija or dina will contact you how we will proceed further that's very easy we are at the very end moment of the of this live webinar but uh, I, i i would like to request you to say something about about uh, yeah something to the audience uh yeah i guess don't lose your hopes everything is going to be fine maybe a little slower but uh, it will get back to the normals uh, and, and uh, you don't need to be worried about these online classes either uh, they would be just temporary measures to avoid getting this infection spread a little more so i think within uh, two or three months uh, hopefully everything goes back to normal so keep your uh, hopes high and uh, keep uh, you know being patient <laughs> Ah, nice, nice words. Uh, thank you, Aditya, for for your time. You were My very pleasure. busy man. No. <laughs> uh, and uh, managing so many projects now. Uh, yeah. yeah, in this time. So uh, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we we do something for for the students, those who are coming here in Sweden this time in autumn. But uh, thank you for your time and thank you Always for your speech. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for inviting thank me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our pleasure to invite you and uh, have uh, this kind of discussion and learn so many things about uh, work in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, we will meet again. Thanks, man. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Shakuri shawai. Ato khun jaa shulan. Amar mona hai je. It's uh, very helpful for those who are very experienced person coming from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. having uh, having uh, pro project management courses and uh, uh, other kind of uh, skills you have like uh, civil engineering architecture doctors engineers i think you will have uh, some idea to watch this video and then you will get to know how you have to search the jobs uh, in the job sector in sweden so if you are coming here this autumn you can start job searching now because you are already experienced so it takes time to 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 find the right place to the right uh, yeah, uh, actually the right place at the right time so it takes time so i should say that you 
do not lose your passions. You will you, you will apply for thousand jobs maybe, but you need only one job. So uh, there will be 999 rejection, but one job it's needed for you so just don't lose your passion and then just uh, uh, go for the searching in the linkedin and some other uh, consultancy form if you want or if you want to do professional job in sweden it's not that much that much easy and i should say it that it's not that much difficult if you are very confident if you are you know how to do that so uh, the, the right process is very important always i say plan is nothing but planning is everything i should say that uh, everyone uh, joining this uh, live session with me the conduction everything was in english because of uh, aditya is from india and he knows only two languages hindi and english so uh, now in swedish as well yeah so i should say that uh, uh, the session uh, we, we we come up with uh, for working in sweden uh, if you request more and more we will do something other uh, or some some other session with some other professional people here in sweden but for now i will i, I would i would like to request stay safe in bangladesh india all over the world wherever you are but uh, my 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 blessings and my best wishes uh, for you all uh, thank you very much and uh, stay safe pray for us assalamu alaikum Allah Hafiz.